this over here is golden crackle paste. I don't know how well you can see that. I'll see if I can zoom in a little bit. And <laughs> not so good with the camera. All right. So there's really big cracks, which is kind of the look I was going for. And then over here, I believe is, it is light molding paste with a piece of um, drywall tape embedded into it. And then in the center here is glass bead gel. And then over here is a, um, a different brand of molding paste, which has a much different texture and feel to it. It's a lot shinier and um, smoother. And then the most interesting part is here. This here is um, Rangers Crackle Medium. And uh, when it dried, instead of just cracking, it actually has pulled away from the surface a little bit and looks almost like eggshells, which is super cool. So this is just an experiment. I'm not necessarily trying to make a work of art here. More or less, I just wanted to play a little bit with um, different types of ink and paint and see how they respond on the different types of mediums. So I thought I may as well turn the camera on and let you see what happens. So a little trick that um, might save you a few dollars. I don't know if any of you have tried these golden uh, airbrush colors. They're kind of expensive. These little tiny bottles are like, in Canada, I think they're like seven, eight dollars, which is a little ridiculous. So, um, I figured out a trick. You can get this big bottle of airbrush medium and you can mix it 50-50 with the golden fluid acrylic to basically get the same product. The only, the only difficulty is that you need uh, some kind of a mixing ball, which is what these, oops, <laughs> I guess it was still open. Um, there's a little ball inside here so that when you shake it up, you probably hear that, it uh, mixes the paint and the medium together so that it's mixed up. <laughs> so you you can, I think you could probably use like a, I don't know, a little metal ball or a bead or something it would probably work. But I had purchased this, but it, the bottle was almost empty. So I just refilled it with half and half the airbrush medium and the golden fluid acrylics. And 
my experiment has started. As you can see, I've got some black dots here. See how they, what they do. I'm figuring that they'll just kind of sit there unless I spray them with water or something. So.
laying. And what I've decided to do is to take a um, pearl pen, just like a dimensional um, product that you can actually write with.
let this dry.